Red gums. I've been having red gums for about three weeks now. I've went to my dentist, and he said that I need to floss and use a different toothpaste. I've been doing that for a week now, and there's no change. What should I do? P.S. When I brush my teeth, my gums sometimes bleed. Hmm. Okay, so the the bleeding from the gums that happens for a variety of reasons, not just uh, uh, not could be just the teeth health, it could be some general health issue also. Sometimes we see uh, problems with uh, with what we call as the gastrointestinal tract uh, in the guts, or maybe you are a mouth breather, or you have a lot of dental work that has been done mm -hmm. in the past, and uh, the, your dentist, that particular dentist that you went to may not have done the dental work and maybe from the past dental work you know mm -hmm. imagine like having um, having some uh, plaque under or like a metal uh, surface a metal surface that you may be allergic to or mm -hmm. you have some kind of a veneer that we, that has not been done right and i see patients you know there is a lot of times the patients have uh, gone across the border or gone overseas to get some dental treatment done and sometimes there is no standard of care then I see some gum inflammation because mm -hmm. it was not done right, um, either overseas or across the border. Um, so then that becomes a challenge. So the gum redness can happen because of the totter, because of the plaque, because of the gum disease, because of the allergies to some kind of a material that you may have in the mouth, or it could be due to mouth breathing or it could be to, to a lot of uh, systemic issues, including some kind of a GI problems that you mm -hmm. may have. But if you have been to the dentist, then your dentist has told you um, there is nothing wrong they could see. Um, my recommendation is uh, check back with the dentist and if there's not particularly resolved, and when you go back and check with them to see whether you can visit with a periodontist or a gum specialist or mm -hmm. there is a need for visiting with a periodontist or mm -hmm. a gum specialist like myself, then we are oftentimes able to find things that they are not able to find at the dental office because this is what we do for a living and we are a gum specialist and we provide much more detailed treatment for the gum tissues uh, than the family dentist offices do. Um, so we are able to provide a better, uh, I'm not saying like a better care, much kind of a fine care. Um, so talk to the dentist about visiting with the periodontist and when you go to the periodontist, mm -hmm. uh, they may be able to help uh, find something that your dental office may not be uh, able to find. And uh, the other part of the question is, is bleeding normal? No, bleeding is absolutely not normal. If it bleeds like once in a blue moon, when you uh, brush your uh, brush your floss your teeth, if it is because like you cut your gums kind of like in a bat, it's possible, it's okay. But if it bleeds on a regular basis, you know, that's not normal. Let me ask you this. So my hand feels normal here mm -hmm. and that's completely okay, right? But let me, let me borrow your finger, All okay, right. uh, arm right here. So your arm feels completely normal, right? Mm -hmm. And it does not bleed, right? right? So what if I touch your... What if I touch your hand if it bleeds, uh, if it starts to bleed? Is that normal? Mm -mm. Would you leave it that way? No. Right? What if I just start to like you know scratch your arm like, or you start to scratch your uh -huh. uh, arm like this, and then it starts to bleed? Would you leave it that way? Oh no, something's wrong. Something is wrong, right? Yeah. So, so absolutely. So same thing. Mm -hmm. When your gums are bleeding and the gums are trying to tell you something, mm -hmm. yeah. Do something about it, dude, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not Absolutely. normal. Absolutely, yes, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So talk to your dentist okay. or um, or uh, talk to your dentist about uh, just being uh, referred to a periodontal office and then they may be able to find something for you. 